hitting a baseball that's been called the hardest thing to do in sports. Physics says it doesn't make sense, and you got to be pretty precise. It's definitely a challenge. I think it's uh, pretty hard to hit a round ball with a round bat and make it go in where you want it to go. <laughs> a 90 mile an hour fastball, nearly 150 kilometers an hour, reaches home plate in less than half a second. The visual system takes about 100 milliseconds to process anything that's happened. So whatever you're seeing is sort of reconstruction of what happened around 75 milliseconds ago. You don't have time to think about it. You know, it's reaction. It is all reactionary. You only have the tiniest fraction of a second. You've got to decide in that amount of time uh, whether this thing is going to kill you, right? Then whether you can hit it, and then whether you should hit it or not. Jason Sherwin and Jordan Muraskin are neuroscientists, and they've got baseball on the brain. I always loved baseball. I've been a baseball fan my whole life. He was working on MRI. I was working on EEG. So uh, we thought, let's try a baseball experiment. There are all sorts of new age metrics that the sport has been using to analyze player stats, but all of them look at what happens after the batter hits the ball. Once the decision has already been made to swing, Jason and Jordan are tapping into the batter's brain to find out how good they are at making decisions before they swing. We're using electroencephalography, or EEG, to measure brain waves. So it's a cap that goes on your head, and as your brain thinks and does anything, it fires electrical impulses. Now the trick is, how do we stimulate your brain in a certain way that can create these signals that we can pick up on and decode to have some meaning? To do that, they've designed a software program, a video game, if you will, that simulates pitches. They show you a player a baseball pitch, which will stimulate the nervous system, which will elicit these signals, and our algorithms are able to decode these signals into interesting metrics. We map on there when they're making their various decisions of taking a pitch or swinging at a pitch. So this kind of information goes into these heat maps that show on an actual trajectory where they're hitting the button here, where they decided to take, or where they decided to swing. We're able to decode when the player is making the decision, I'm gonna swing or I'm not gonna swing. Nick McGuire is a first baseman for the three-time defending Ivy League champion Columbia University Lions. He knows the importance of quick reactions at the plate. You only have two tenths of a second to, to pick up on whether or not you're going to swing at a pitch. If you're wasting any of that reaction time, you know, you just turn that 85 mile an hour fastball into a 95 mile an hour fastball and that 90 mile an hour fastball into a 100 mile an hour fastball. You know, you, you got to use every second, every inch that you can. We're just using a slightly different sort of setup. Okay. And the game when Nick steps between the lines of the batter's box, he puts up some big power numbers. But today, he's about to find out what happens between his ears when he steps up to bat. So we're just going to put, start putting the cap on. Mm -hmm. The gel makes the electrodes more conductive for a better signal from the brain. What well, a good thing I got a haircut. <laughs> the software simulates three different pitches. A fastball, which comes straight across the plate, a slider, which breaks down in a way as it reaches the plate, and a curveball, which has a downward breaking 12 to 6 movement. If you're looking for one pitch, it's hard to hit another. But that's exactly what this exercise asks the player to do. It suggests a certain pitch is coming, then they have to decide as soon as possible if it is that pitch and swing or not. It's not like a test, like there's a right answer, there's a wrong answer. It's like there's, um, there's a spectrum of you know capabilities where we're looking at you know how well they do in each one. Nick sees a couple of hundred simulated pitches and the test is done. All right, good job. We're gonna show you your profile next. All right. They map Nick's preparedness before the pitch is released, along with his speed and accuracy in recognizing the pitch and whether to swing or not. This is where you're choosing to swing. Okay. And this is where you're actually pressing the button, mm -hmm. which is really, really quick yep. still. And then this is showing you where you're deciding, wait, I'm not gonna swing. What we're plotting it against is players from college, AAA, 
by comparing his results against other players and then running the tests again later in the season, they get a good reading of how the player is performing and if he's improving. We're able to create a completely new uh, realm of stats for baseball hitters that's never been done before. Next step is to convince major league teams that this is the new wave of metrics. Several organizations are already signing up. We thought, all right, now we're breaking down the process that leads to getting the round bat to the round ball. And so, you know, that's where we realized that, okay, we're into something that's interesting here for, you know, this age-old question in sports. We're trying to crack that code. <laughs>